got one more, let's go. This marks the first day in Maine, so we'll see what happens, boys. Give me a wish and I'll make you smile. The worst, the worst possible outcome to a fishing trip. Trucks totaled, airbags went off. Easily one of the scariest things I've ever been a part of. Jaren, are you good? Oh, oh, what? Are you good? Yeah, dude, I just, dude, that was, I can't even. Dude, let's go catch some fish. Oh, am I in, where am I? You're in Maine. Oh, <laughs> holy crap, dude. I just had like the worst dream ever. Oh, yeah, I... let's just go catch some fish, dude. Okay. A wise, old, wrinkly man once said, the third time's the charm. This is my third time in Maine. We're heading back a month and a half after the worst possible disaster you could think of. I'd say it's pretty obvious at this point that Buddy just wants to crush. Who wants to crush? I want to crush. How's your mother? Oh! 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 oh. I missed him the first time. <laughs> our first one of the day right there, <laughs> fellas. Look at that tantrum, this pin top shelf. White perch, that's my first white perch in Maine. Oh, yo! <laughs> it's a fatty, I go back. 302. 302, you caught that big giant. Three, oh, 301. Okay, bud. Seven and a half pounder. That was a good fish. 3.02 p.m. 3.02 p.m. We got 10.01 a.m. right now, so we're not even quite to the p.m.s, but I... First morning in Maine here. We're gonna run down to a, a local pond, like you could say, right? Pond, lake. Yep. And um, there's some very big largemouth, which are the brother of the smallmouth. And uh, we're gonna try to get one. Dude, let's crash. Let's do it. Buddy wants to crash. <laughs> I can't accept the loss, I'm hard headed. Hard -headed. There's a little bit of madness to my method. Many falling off that fine line that I'm treading. I risk anything to be great and I'm not letting. We got about like a five, 10 minute walk and it's just like gorgeous weather today. Can't beat it. We're fishing for perch today, crappies pickerel and some big bass so i had my drone set up to get those drilling shots and all of a sudden i look up and my drone is just gone i'm like where did it go well it went home it left the job early went back went back home a couple hundred yards away and it just landed itself on the lake I said you're not the boss here i'm the boss so i went and got it and smacked it on his butt so you do a guiding zach i do what's yep. your guide service it's a lateral line guide service open and ice open and ice all right we're gonna be setting our traps up for some bass today some uh some big largey so we've got our uh, heritage traps right here these are kind of a uh unknown trap here in maine at least on the east coast and uh, we're gonna be running shiners today and we're gonna be setting them about two feet off the bottom got my markham here uh it's my depth finder so i'm just gonna hook them right behind the top fin that's hopefully gonna get us a five six pounder dude we got a flag we got a flag, boy. We got one, boy. Dude, he's peeling. Oh, it feels heavy, Dad. Does it? Oh my God, dude. There's some weight there, bud. It's probably a big bass. You think it's a bass? I think so. It's a bass, dude. It's coming in like dead weight. Oh, it's probably a freaking chonker, dude. Oh, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, boys. Look at this fish. First one in Maine. That's a chunky little bass. This is exactly what we're chasing. Zach caught a seven and a half pounder here a couple weeks ago. But nothing wrong with these right here, dude. That's probably a three pounder. Yeah, I'd say. Hook was just tucked corner shelf. Oh my God. There she goes. Yeah. <laughs> Straight back down to the bottom she goes, buddy, buddy, what a crash, buddy. <laughs> We've been set up for like maybe, maybe 20 minutes. And that first one just fired up. So we got probably three pounds of bass already on our first one. We'll see how big our bag can get today. This one's not peeling. All right, boys, we're on to the next one. This is like chasing girls around, I swear to God. You never succeed, but you just keep going, you know? Oh my God, dude! 
What are you doing? Yo, let's go to the other one. I go to the other one. It doesn't feel big. It might be a pickerel. Okay. If it's a pickerel, just leave it and we'll run to the next okay. one. I want some ass, little one. <laughs> little okay. guy. Okay, we're gonna get him off quick. Another little largey there. <laughs> let's see what we got here. We let that marinate a little bit. Let this one marinate, Shack Tack, dude. Just going off. Oh big. my god, Zach. Big? Yeah. Oh, it's big, Zach. <laughs> Look at this. Just another slob, dude. Oh my god. Corner shelf, dude. Where mama keeps the sea salt. That is absolutely insane right there. Look at that fish. That's probably a 17 incher, 16 incher. Back down the chute. Let's go, buddy. We just started to reset these flags. Zach is literally over there getting a new minnow and we just got another flag way in the back. Back row, aisle 47. Thing is just peeling, I can already see it. Is it? Yeah. Do you think it's gonna be big? Might be. Yeah. Yep. Got some weight. Yep. <laughs> Are there just that many nice fish in here, dude? Oh my God, dude. <laughs> They're just, look at, look at how chunky that fish is. <laughs> What the heck, Zach? They eat well in here. We feed them well. Aunt Ginny's breakfast or what? Holy crap. That's our third fish like that. I mean, that's easy. That's two and a half pounder. Yeah. Just thick, healthy fish. Green, dude. Little crappie pose for the boys back home. <laughs> send it back, put it center back down. Wow. What a start. We have not been here for an hour, dude. I know. This is crazy. Dude, it's, gonna, it's going. just going to keep rolling. <laughs> That's a, what's this gonna be? No nope, perch, white perch. Oh, that's a perch. Yep. That's a white that's perch. That's what they've over there. Yeah. Oh, so when you say perch, do you have yellow perch here? Yeah. Big but this, one. this is what you call white perch. It's See, white perch. This is our white bass kind of thing. There's a white perch. That's my first white perch in Maine. We're not keeping this boy. We're not. We're sending him back home. Sending him back down. Mama Drive. Oh my God, dude. The trap's like sideways. Oh my, that was a good pull at the beginning. But I know it's feeling light, but he might've just turned towards me. Yeah, oh, Jared, that's a five, that's a four pounder. <laughs> Look at that one, guys. What the heck? Who knew? <laughs> Who knew, buddy? <laughs> buddy, I wanna crush, buddy. Shoot, dude. That's a good one, huh? It is. Maybe that's not a, quite four, but. It's not four, but it's, lo it's longer than those other ones. Out. <laughs> little humpback. That's a nice fish right there. Wow. Here you go, buddy. Oh, ready to go. Unreal, dude. This is epic. Dude, she's ripping. Okay. I'm not messing this one up. He's on. Yeah. Got him. Yep. Why is it going on the ice so much? It's because he's way off to the to your right behind you. Oh my. Oh. Dude, that thing's giant. Oh, it's nice. It's yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> that's dude. That's the biggest one yet today. That's a good one. Oh my, another stud right there. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shoot! <laughs> Let's go, that gets me so excited. We got a flag and this dude's rattling the ear off about a snowmobile. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, I, okay, here's the deal. So we're ice fishing right now. We just got a flag, actually. So if you send me a picture of, of the gun. Where were you ice fishing at? I'm out in Maine right now. In Maine? Yeah, Maine, yep. Holy shit, and they got enough ice up there? Oh, there's a lot of ice here, yeah. Do you know where Millinocket, Maine is? Holy piss in my pants. Yeah, Jimmy. we know where Millinocket is, of yeah. course. Oh my God, I, there's a snowmobile museum there that's got a snowmobile that I sold to a guy that got hauled up to Maine. It's a, it's a, a fox track. No way. <laughs> no, not, I wouldn't make that up. No, I believe it. I believe it. No, All right, no. fellas, that's going to close it up. We came out on this little pond here and absolutely crushed. It was an awesome day. Caught some big largemouth, <laughs> but he's excited. <laughs> and uh, other than that, peace out. <laughs>well good morning from northern 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 maine boys we're in very north of maine today i'm with my good friends devin and ryan gideon their family had this cabin they rented this cabin for a week so 
happened to line up to when I was in Maine. Um, so I'm with them. We are way up north in the middle of nowhere. No cell service, no nothing. And we're gonna go out and chase, sounds like trout, burbot, lakers, a kind of a mixed bag. Everything's everything's by sled. So we're just gonna rip around this morning. We're gonna try to find some, try to find some fish and uh, capitalize. So you guys stay tuned. Good morning from Northern Maine. Bucks. Yeah. Just send it down to Bar Harbor over there. <laughs> <laughs> we are in the north woods of Maine. No cell service, uh, no Wi Fi, no electricity, and uh, we're out here chasing backwoods brookies, lake trout, burbot, and uh, whatever else we can get to bite today. Get down below the ice, buddy. You can do it. Are, you, are we just gonna look down the hole with our head and figure out what oh, he it touched. Is? Yeah, you gonna stick your face down there? Hey! Nice perky, huh? Yeah, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Choke that shiner, dude. I was dropping the shiner down and he smoked it. What? Yeah. Come on, dude. You gotta be kidding me. It, you, like, native it, guy. <laughs> what? That was so weird. I was like, I'm pretty sure I just got hit and he just smoked it. You're dropping the tip up down. Yeah. There she goes. Well, that was cool. That's tough. Here we go. We got this is our deep play. This is like 20 some feet of water. Oh yeah. Does it feel good? It feels kind of decent. Laker? I don't know, dude. I'm just out here trying to crush, but I want to crash. I have no idea what this is gonna be. There's actually some good weight there. No. I'm serious. Oh, oh. there's a nice laker, dude. No. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Let's go. Dude, I was like, there's good weight there, man. <laughs> Let's go down the oh hatch, my. buddy! That's so awesome. Let's go, boys! Look at wow. look at that fish, guys. <laughs> that is awesome. This is I think this is my second lake trout in Maine ever. I caught one last summer trolling, but that is the coolest. We had this flag set in 20 what 24 feet of water or something, and it went off. And I caught up to it. And I thought I, the spool was tight, and I was scared that he spit it, but he was there. That is so awesome. Beautiful lake trout, northern Maine. <laughs> I'm so jacked. That is so sick. We're gonna get some pictures of it and let it back. <laughs> oh, look at that. He's picking. Sick fish. There she goes. Back down. Let's go. Dude, that is so awesome. What were we were doing? We were we were gonna we were looking over there at that ice shack and then we were gonna climb in that cave and make like a cave survival video, you know, but Ended up catching a seven pound lake trout. So <laughs> take that. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> got a play, boys. <laughs> is it on? Yep. Yeah, is it recording? Yeah. Sure? Yep. Okay. There he is. Good. Uh, oh, oh no! <laughs> no way! Not one of these things. It looks like a big shiner. <laughs> Look at this. What are these called? Fall fish. Fall fish. So this is my first fall fish. I'm trying to get him for a pose here. Kind of looks like a carp. That's a fall fish for you right there. <laughs> are these like your bluegill or what? I yeah, northern Maine bluegill, I guess. Like there's just they're all over. Yeah. Oh no! I was gonna do a much more graceful one. Well, as I said, we came out, we came over on the sled way over there, and we got a nice fat fish, fall fish, whatever it was called. Now we're gonna get a bit of back down there. Keep her rolling, buddy. <laughs> no! Come on! That's a hammer. <laughs> buddy, that tantrum's about the same size as his face noggin. 
That's a good catch right there. <laughs> good pair up. <laughs> nice. <laughs> He's for sure got to get bigger. Oh, oh, okay. Go back to Bahaba. Get a little bigger. <laughs> Rocking a little royal flush here. 36 El Graffite from Frostbite. <laughs> oh my god. That Fatty. is the biggest yellow perch I've ever <laughs> seen. Fat. <laughs> Did I roll in the first day and catch two of the biggest fish? Oh, <laughs> fatty yellow bird. <laughs> Devin's catching all these tiny ones, and I'm like, "What are you getting, bud?" I grabbed this rod, got a little tantrum on it, and we just caught a fat white perch or a yellow perch. Look at him, just choked the tanchi. There's two of them. <laughs> I missed them the first. <laughs> <laughs> that was a Let's go, bird. boys. That Send that cheap. to the fellows back home. They'll be hashtag jelly tech for sure. <laughs> Cheapers, creepers. We're measuring about 12 and a half on that old pooch knocker. That's a good one, bud. Let's get him back down the street. Let's see if he wants to go back. Oh yeah. Nice. That was cool, huh? There's there's some more nice ones down there too. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. like three inches, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, buddy. Yeah? It's not big. <laughs> one of them things? Oh, 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 no way, dude. That's a pretty one. Buddy! A little pretty? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> 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 Look at this, dude. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this pit. <laughs> You gotta see that on video. That was that was so badass. Where's my water? Right here, buddy. <laughs> there you go, buddy. All right, fellas, welcome to part three of the main trip. We are up in Northern Maine yet, except now I'm with my buddy Riley Tibbetts. We're gonna go chase some Lakers. Might set some traps for some salmon. Nate, say what's up. Yo, what's up guys? Riley's filming a video with Nate today. Um, it's my last day in Maine. I fly out tomorrow, so we're gonna make the best out of the last day. It's been an absolute awesome trip. A lot better than last time. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna go try to catch some lake trout today. Stay tuned, we'll see what happens. There we go. Oh, dope. Come on, take it. Oh, got him. There's our first one of the day right there, fellas. On the tantrum. Shout out Zach for the for the Markham hookup here. This is my second fish I marked so far. Probably been jigging for like an hour now. Fishing in 60 feet of water. There's two of them down. There's another one down there. Holy crap. That is so cool. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, shit. Oh, he almost got me. First little laker of the day for me. Came up and choked the tantrum, micro tantrum. Look at that tantrum, just pin top shelf. Buddy wanted to crush, pretty little guy. I'm gonna get him back down the hole. It's a nice day out, but still wanna get him back quick. That's my first little laker, probably a 12 incher. And there he goes. <laughs> that was awesome. I'm not used to fishing this deep of water. I mean, we are, there's a little reef here, I guess, and there's 90 feet of water all around us. 60 feet up top. He came in with a, a buddy, and it was a pair of them came up. And he took it pretty good. I don't really like to fly with rods, so I do not have my rods out here in Maine this week. I've been here for about six days now. I've just been using my buddy's rods, but today I'm using the Frostbite True Grit 30 inch medium graphite rod. Great all round rod. We got six pound test on the diesel reel, and then we got her to a little 1.3 inch tantrum from Frostbite. This is the metallic sexy shad color. I gotta say, I have not used these baits much back home. In Wisconsin in the Midwest but out here in Maine we've used this quite a bit this week and I've caught I've caught some nice fish on it so I'm liking this bait a lot what's good with it man what's right. in my slime Riley tell us about Maine ice fishing what's your favorite thing to do in Maine for ice fishing I like to go and find a nice ice shack and I just the thing is, is it's cold, it's miserable. I mean, I don't know who would want to ice fish like this, but I mean, I like to endure the struggle 
and I like to make my catches truthfully worthwhile by putting in more work than anybody. There you like, go. Like, this is a hard, miserable way to fish. Yeah. But it sometimes... Looks like it. It's brutal. Looks miserable. The conditions are some, hard. You couldn't some, pay me to sit in here. Sometimes, I mean, it's annoying. Like, sometimes the Wi-Fi hotspots don't work. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes we forget to charge the batteries. Uh-huh. Sometimes... I mean, like, a lot of the time, the big issue... Yeah is that it gets so hot in here even when i get my t-shirt it's too hot i have work? to crack the windows oh yeah yeah and also the struggles real tank is about to blow itself up but we'll worry about that, that that's, another that's day potential for sure on the on a real note yeah. that shit's scaring me but. yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay 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 <laughs> don't scare don't 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 scare him now sorry for scaring you guys <laughs> There we go. <laughs> I was on my phone watching Colby Bryant videos. <laughs> I just got smoked. <laughs> this is so fun fighting fish this deep. I, I seriously don't think I've ever ice fished this deep. This one feels feels uh, about the same size as the last one. I, I, the sun came up behind me and I like I was starting to get a glare on my Markham, so I couldn't really like I could tell there's a mark there, but I couldn't really see where he was. <laughs> and then he came back and just drilled it. They're so slimy and hard to hold on to. <laughs> just T-boned it. Beautiful fish there. Just another small guy. Such pretty patterns. Pretty fish. Cool right. fish. We're going to let her back in the drink. <laughs> there he goes. All right, guys. I fished for a little bit longer, and I marked one more. I did not get him to bite. Um, so this is my last day in Maine fishing. Um, Maine, this is my third time in Maine now, and I have to say... Maine is like, Maine's weird because Maine is, it's cool. Like it's a cool place to come and fish, but it's so different than back home. Like they don't have walleyes here. Like you come to Maine to trout fish and I'm not a trout fisherman. So it's like, it's such a different, <coughs> different atmosphere. Everyone uses traps. Like people just kind of sit, like you can see shacks out here. They just set up and watch tip ups, which I mean, it's not like that's rare back home, but I feel like we have a lot more jig fishermen back home, to be honest. Maine is like, Maine's a lot more traditional, put it that way. Maine is something you would see in an ice fishing scene in Grumpy Old Men. That's what I think of when I think of Maine ice fishing. So I do enjoy being here. I like Maine. Maine's a fun place to be and there's a lot of cool fish to catch, but it's just so different. And I gotta say, I love my Midwest lakes. <laughs> it's just a lot different than back home. So fun trip here in Maine. It's been a blast, caught some nice fish. Um, and I appreciate all my guys helping me out here, so it's been fun. Business tech. Got the business suitcase here, buddy. Buddy, wanna crash? No.